Hello my Aries and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and of course I am Debbie. I'm reading from May 19th through the 25th. That is Friday through Thursday and I'm feeling some good energy. I feel like a lot of pressure has lifted off of you. Maybe you've made some decisions. Maybe things have worked themselves through. Whatever. I'm just feeling good balanced energy. We will see. Anyway, um, I have done an overview at, what is it I call it, Justice is Here, something like that. Take a look. We've got some interesting, kind of uh, forceful energies at the same time, and I do a reading what's going on in the world. Now, remember, I also mentioned that these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So I'm kind of getting some two energy, partnerships, balance, crossroads, choices, decisions, coming, but I do feel like it's an interest, it's a good energy around you, my Aries. I do feel like you have more control over um, your emotions in a way. I mean, I do feel that there, like I said, things are coming into a balance. Let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what would you like to say to our Aries? What do they need to know? Where, what's going on for them? These are kind of interesting energy, so what, maybe it's because of you know, maybe it's because of Jupiter now leaving and going into Taurus. It's like the pressure. I feel like the pressure has been lifted. Okay, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what would you like to say to our Aries? One, two, and three. Three cards face down. The two are reversed, so those have a little stronger energy. Remember... I did pull this in the um, overview, New Moon in Taurus. I think, what does I say, 19th? Prosperity lies ahead. So, and I know, I, I sometimes I'm like, okay, and how is this going to happen? The world is in, the world is in its own little mess, but you know what? We have to live our lives. So let's see what we've got going on for our Aries. First card is reversed. The Nine of Michael. So here I tell you that things are working its way through. Things are coming into, into uh, a balance. But then we have the Nine of Michael. Nine of Michael is just thinking about things and obsessing about things and just worrying about things and going, oh my goodness, what is going on with our world? What's going on in our life? But Nine is about, let's wrap it up. Nine is about the end of an energy or the end of a cycle, end of a season. You know, you've got everything you need. Let's put it all together. Michael is our air energy. It is our Aquarius. It's our Gemini. It's our Libra. So we have Pluto and Aquarius for a little bit longer. Um, then it, you know, then it retros back into um, Capricorn for until 2024, which is not too far away. Ge uh, Ge blah, blah, blah. Gemini is right around the corner also. It will be coming, you know, during this cycle. So things will be shifting there. It is thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. So there is a couple of ways we can look at this. One is the worries that you're having, the worries that you're thinking about, what's keeping you up late at night. It's all, it's more in your head than it is, than it's anywhere else. I'm not saying that, you know, that we don't, you know, that things don't happen, you know, things, but what can, we, can, what can you really do about it? Can you do anything about? So if you can do something, great, do it. But if it's just something that's keeping you awake, let it go. Give it to God. Give it to Source. Say, I, you know, I can't do anything, so I am not going to be do. I am not going to be handling this anymore. It could also be that the worries are now over. The worries are now gone. You know, you know. Like I said, I thought I felt like my Aries, you are coming into a balance. The thing about worry, and again, maybe this is, you know, maybe you're, you know, don't watch the news, don't watch TV, don't, you know, stay off of the social media if that is aggravating your worry even more. Things are going to work out much better than you even think, much better than you even hope. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So, you know, but, you know, even when we do come into a place, I mean, there's many times over, um, you know, when things start to shift and you're thinking, oh, things are getting better, I, I, I'm happier. But then we also start thinking, oh, for how long, for how long? So sometimes we don't trust um, hope. Sometimes we don't trust happiness. Sometimes we don't trust, our, you know, our high vibrations are keeping, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of trust. I'm going to tell you this for you, my Aries. You know, 
we can live each day. Now this is one of those times to live day by day by day. And in the morning you just say thank you for this day and I'm going to get through this day and have hope for each day. This is a time when we have to really, again if you watch the overview, we have to keep our vibrations extremely high. It's just, it is so, so needed. Um, but at the same time, I did get that thing about balance coming to Aries. So maybe this is coming to that past. Maybe this is, you know, maybe this is moving past, it, moving into that past, you know, and now you're embracing your future. Let's see what this next card says. Reversed, the magician. So we have a one. So here we have this, this sense of, oh my gosh, what can I do? No, you can't do anything. But then we have the magician saying, you can do anything, okay? But you have to keep your energies very high. You have to believe. You have to, you know, as in heaven, so on earth, okay? On earth, no. On earth, our energies, no. But the magician comes. We have a one, new beginning, new start. The magician is the first, first person, if you want to call him that, that the fool begin, uh, meets on his journey. And the magician, Archangel Raziel, Raziel is very, has a very occult, hidden energies, does rely very strongly on God's source, heavenly energies here. Um, the magician comes and says, you can do so much more, but you have to believe, you have to have faith, you have to know that there is more out there. The magician doesn't just, you know, the magician doesn't, isn't a trickster. Okay, he's not a trickster. He actually can create out of nothing. Okay, so this is one of the things that you have to have faith, you have to believe. And the magician talks about you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginning. So it's an interesting, you know, there's a, little, there's a challenge between these two. You can stay in worry or you can have hope and believe that, you know, you can believe that things are possible. And I have to tell you, I have been here. I like being here a lot more. Next card is Leap of Faith. I love the Leap of Faith. So we have a zero. We have zero God source energy. Archangel Metatron. Metatron believed to be Enoch before the flood. Walked, talked with God, was no more because he was transfixed into the heavens. The Leap of Faith, like I said, zero energy. So we have, I mean, zero is God source energy. So we have a 910, a 019. Um, the leap of faith is the fool journey, uh, you know, is the fool who starts his journey. He doesn't quite know why he's going to believe, but he's just going to do that. Uh, you know, many times I've just had, I've taken those leaps of faith and didn't know where I was going to land. But, you know, the magician again says that things can happen. Things can manifest. You have to have faith. You have to believe. So this, this whole week, this 19th through the 25th is going to be a very metaphysical um, week for you. Again, I do feel like there's a balance coming. Maybe you've been living, you know, I don't know how it is. Maybe your energies have not been as vibrant or as high, and maybe now you're bringing them up again. I don't know, because I do feel that there is a balance happening. Now, we also have a 1010, which is a transitional energy. So interesting for you, my Aries. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. Interesting with that too. So, a lot of times the nine of Michael, it's all, it, you know, it, it's, it, you know, we have this new moon. We have these energies. We can make our, you know, we can make our realities. If we want to have a reality that's just filled with, with, with um, fear, we can make that reality. But remember, fear is what I call, I call fear a tool of the devil. Yes, yeah, danger, danger can be real, but fear is what is something that is put inside, something that we clutch onto, and, you know, we, we hold our worry beads, and we're like, oh, what's going to happen? Instead of saying, you know what? I'm going to be the magician. I'm going to also be the leap, of, I'm also going to be the fool and take that leap of faith. So, interesting stuff for you right now, and it's, you know, this week, um, I don't know, is this going to be a choice for you or is this something, maybe you're coming out of this fear energy and now you're believing that there's more to come for you and there's a happier, there's, a, there's, there's hope, there's a happier life out there. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Let's see, Holy Spirit, what else would you like to say for our Aries here? 
what else is for our Aries? Because these, I love these. You know, these are my, these are my, um, yeah, I'm not going to say favorite, but close to it. Here we go. Three of action. So the three, this is the three of fire, the three of wands. I think that the three of wands was even in the overview. This is your ship comes in. You know, there he is with his ship. Fire energy, fire energy, your energy, Leo, Leo energy. Mars is in Leo right now. And Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined, very, very committed energy. Okay. Three is celebration. It's creation. It's also the power of three. So we have a 9103-3019. Things, like I said, I love this because, you know, when I, with this card and with these, this deck, it's always your ship comes in. Things are working out beautifully now that your ship has come in. Oh, so it says that. It's now that your ship has come in, it's, decide, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. So where are you going to stay, my Aries? Are you going to stay in the in the fear? Or are you just going to say, you know, you know, this goes back to, you know, we only have one life to really live. And yes, there could be reincarnation, but this is the only Debbie. You know, I, I, I don't want to waste my energies and I don't want to waste my, um, I don't want to waste it on fear. Okay. I want, I want to embrace, embrace life. Okay. So. Three of action, your ship comes in, leap of faith, be that fool, just believe, you know, crazy belief system. The magician says you can do anything. But then again, too, the nine of Michael does say your worry is unnecessary. Okay, so inspirational wisdom from our fairies and angels. Fairies and angels. Fairies and angels. Okay, here we go. Yes, I do believe in fairies. I like to think of them as earth angels. I know that they can be mischievous, but I like to think of them as that. This is reversed. The guardian of the sun and moon. Oh, I'm sorry, the garden. I always think guardian, but the garden of the sun and moon. The change you seek may be outside your comfort zone. Ask for the strength to help you move forward. So is that what's going on here? Is it outside your comfort zone? Hmm. Anyway, your ship comes in, leap of faith, magician. How can you, yeah, yeah, embrace it, embrace this. Okay, let's see what crystal or energy we have for our Aries here. What do we have for our Aries here? Aries, 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 what do we have? What would be helpful for our Aries? Here we go. reversed. Shungite. Shungite is great EMF protection, but it's also protection from modern ills. Grounding, everyday healing, it's great for purifying. I love Shungite. I love Shungite. Okay, let's go on now. So I told you prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Let's see what other moon energy message. My Aries, from my Aries. So yes, and and just just have crazy faith, my Aries. Crazy faith. Let go of the worry. Let go of the fear. Get outside your comfort zone. Here we here we go. Outside your comfort zone. I think that's that's why we're gonna title you. Oops. I'm picking up more than one. I did that for, I think, Leo, too. So here we go. Well, oh, here. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Cancer's coming up not too far from here. You and your loved ones are safe. Reversed again. Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. So you can do all the magician and the leap of faith and everything, but you do still need to have a practical plan. I love that. Okay, so my Aries, what do you think? Did it resonate? Did it not? I hope it did in a good way. Do me that favor, though. Do me the favor of going down to like, share, subscribe, and clicking on the bell for notifications. 
You keep me on air by doing it, and I really appreciate that. As always, though, my Aries, this is the best part. Oh, and also, if you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, my Aries, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.